Recently, I travelled to Kruger National Park in South Africa, home to some 17,000 elephants. In 2016, staff here became aware of an emerging disease in the elephant population. To find out more, I met wildlife vet Dr. Peter Buss. It was actually totally by chance that we heard a, um, one of the tourists reporting that they'd seen a dead elephant next to the road. So we drove out there and sure enough there was uh, the carcass of an elephant. And almost immediately we could see this was TB. From the state of the lungs? lungs yeah, they was like about 80% of its lungs were affected. The elephant had been killed by the bacterial infection tuberculosis, or TB. TB is carried in airborne particles and enters an elephant's body through its mouth or trunk before infecting the lungs and spreading through the bloodstream. Different strains of the bacteria exist. And what was so disturbing about this case was the particular strain of TB the elephant died of. When we did the cultures and we did the diagnostic, it turned out to be human TB, which really floored us. That's the last thing we expected it to be. This was the first confirmed case of human TB as a cause of death in a wild African elephant. If widespread, it could pose a real threat to the wider elephant population here. So the vets urgently need to discover the extent of the problem. Are we dealing just with one elephant that happened to get human TB, that's it, and that's it? Or is this just the tip of an iceberg? So to screen elephants for TB, you've got to sedate them first. Peter is going to do that with his dark gun from the air in that helicopter. So I'm going to stick with a ground team. We're going to follow the Ellie and make sure that it goes down safely. Right. The dart is in. The ground team must make sure the elephant falls safely in an accessible area before the anaesthetic takes full effect. The elephant finally collapses, but there's a complication. He's pointing down a slope. The only problem is he's lying down here with the car. Oh, is that not good? Peter is worried that the effect of gravity could cause his large intestine to press down on his diaphragm, compromising his breathing. The elephant's trunk also poses a challenge. The trunk is made up of over 100,000 individual muscle units. These are arranged both around and along the trunk, allowing it to be strong, dexterous and to move in any direction. Because of the anaesthetic, some of the muscles that normally keep the end of the trunk open have become relaxed. If this crucial airway collapses, the elephant could suffocate. It might seem like such a simple thing, but this little stick propping up his nostrils is vital to keep his airways open. With the elephant now breathing steadily through its trunk, Peter and the team can begin the task of screening for TB. The first step is to draw a blood sample. Bloods, this is what's vital, isn't it? Well, blood shows you that he was exposed to TB and became infected with it. So his immune system has seen the disease. But it doesn't mean that he has active TB now. Exactly. A blood test will reveal if this animal has been exposed to TB in the past. But a different test is needed to discover if he's infected with the active form of the disease and therefore contagious. So Peter and I carry out what's known as a trunk wash. As he holds up the elephant's trunk, I pour in a sterile saline solution. 
all of it. About half the time. It's then flushed out and collected for analysis. That's a filthy trunk, Peter. Look at it. Breathing OK, guys? All right. With all the necessary samples taken, it's time to wake the elephant up. And there isn't a moment to lose. OK, guys, come. Let's be quick. Eh? I'm getting concerned. So what I'm drawing up here is um, the antidote for the immobilizing drugs. You're concerned a little bit about I'm his breathing? I'm a little bit concerned because he's been down a while. And... Too bad, yeah, it's fine. The elephant begins to come round. He's starting to curl his trunk. You've yeah, done yeah. this how many times? Oh, I don't know how many times. Hundreds of times now with the elephants. It really is just investigating. Yeah, it's just What is going on? What on earth happened? I can smell humans everywhere. Yeah. The results of this TB test were negative. It's good news for this elephant and for Peter's team as they strive to keep Kruger's elephants disease-free.